Hey guys, in this video, we're going to look at PIP and masking. PIP, also known as picture in picture, is an effect often used to overlay some smaller videos on a background clip, which enables you to play two or more video clips on the screen at once. It's an extremely useful technique to help you create content when you make online tutorials, short films, gaming videos, and more. I'll use an online cooking video as an example. Let's learn how to create this simple effect of showing a glimpse of a previous video to your audience. First, I'll drag the clip on a track above my video. Then I can trim it down by dragging the sides of the clip to last about 5 seconds. Now I'll double click on the clip and adjust the placement in the preview window using the blue dots. You can also rotate your clip by using the blue dot that's in the middle. You can also adjust your clips with the transform controls on the top left of the screen. I usually try to keep clips from covering an actor's face, so I will place this on a more empty space of my frame. That way, the audience can still focus on the eyes of the actor to stay fully engaged. Now that we're done transforming our clip, we can move on to a quick look at the compositing menu. Here, we can choose a blending mode and change our opacity. Blending modes let us choose how our top image will blend with our bottom one. There are plenty to choose from here. There's lots to learn about blending modes, and I will cover them, along with compositing, in another video. For this tutorial, it's best we leave it at normal. The opacity slider will simply let you change the opacity of your top clip. A clip's opacity determines how transparent the image is. Finally, let's add a snappy animation to our top clip. Just click on the motion menu and select the animation that you want to use. And double click it to apply it to your clip. And now you have a simple picture in picture. Looks good. Masking is using a mask to protect a specific area of an image. Just as you would use masking tape while painting, Masking an area of an image can be used to create new frames to add style and production value to your clips. If you don't want a rectangular shape for your clip, you can apply a mask effect to it. To adjust the shape of your clip, go to Effects, then Utility, and Image Mask. Drag the mask filter onto the top video clip not on another blank track. Now, if we double click the clip and scroll down to video effects, we can find our mask options. With an image mask, you can use any preset image by clicking the paper symbol with a plus sign on it. Then, you can navigate to the image that you want to use. You can then find it at the bottom of the presets list. This can be used to add a cool effect to a logo, for instance. Let's use this simple looking rectangle with rounded corners to start. Just double click your choice to add it to your clip. We can adjust the position of the shape with the X and Y sliders. And the size with the width and height sliders. Under that is the feathering slider. As you learn more about editing, you will see the term feathering used often. Feathering is taking a hard solid line and giving it softer edges or a more blurry line. As you can see, the feathering increases and the shape becomes more blurred, creating a softer line. In our case, we won't be using any feathering. Lastly is the Invert Mask button, 
that will allow you to simply swap the part of your image that is covered to reveal a different part of your image. Now let's look at our final product. Looks good. A shape mask is slightly different than an image mask. With a shape mask, you can select exactly how your mask looks without having a preset. Just go to Effects, then Utility, and then drag the shape mask onto your clip. Now double click your clip and check the Invert Mask box. Now you can adjust your mask with the transform controls or by using the blue dots on the preview window. The yellow square will let you adjust the corners of your mask to be rounded out if you want. A border is like a picture frame for your clip. To add one, go to Effects, then Utility, and drag the border effect onto your clip. Now, double click your clip in the timeline and open Video Effects. Then you can make your border any color you want by selecting the same color for both Start and End. Or, you can select different colors for the start and end to see a gradient. The size slider will change the thickness of your border. The blur slider will let you soften the edge of your border. And the opacity slider allows you to make the border more transparent. Finally, the direction arrows allow you to choose how your gradient looks by changing its direction. Thanks for watching. Check out some of our other tutorials to learn how to take your video from start to finish with Filmora 9.